Okay, so now I'm going to be doing my assisting with amniotomy, amniotomy skill. Um, so I have my patient here. Um, the doctor's at the bedside with me. He's going to be performing the actual physical amniotomy. I'm just going to be here as an assistant to him. Um, so I've got my two pair of sterile gloves. I've got my um, my amniotomy tool. I forgot the name of that. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to explain to my patient exactly what it is that I'm going to be doing, why I'm going to be doing it. And then, um, again, I've got my gloves for my patient, for my doctor. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to get started. So I will perform my key weeks and introduce myself to the patient. And before the doctor gets in, I'll go ahead and make sure I am um, positioning my patient. So I'm going to go ahead and position her and I'm going to turn it this way a little bit so that we can see, to see the legs. So I'm going to position her and she's going to have her legs opened up as such. I can go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put some chucks underneath her. At this time, we would want a lot of chucks underneath because it's going to be leaking and there's going to be a lot of fluid to keep it from getting on the bed. So my um, doctor's here at the bedside and he's going to be here performing the, the rupture of the amniotic membrane. So as I'm letting my doctor getting my doctor ready, preparing my doctor for it. I'm going to let my patient know as the um, physician is inserting this that we're going to go ahead and have her take a deep breath to help kind of relieve the um, feeling that she gets. Um, it won't necessarily be a pain, but I'm sure it's going to be uncomfortable. So I can go ahead and just tell her to have take deep breaths. Um, so at the end of this, there's like a sharp end. So that's what's going to be going inside and it's going to be used to rupture the amniotic membrane also called in snagging the bag. So once this goes inside, it's literally just like popping the bag and the fluid's gonna come out. So my doctor's gonna go ahead and put his sterile gloves on. Um, he's gonna ask me to hand him this tool. So I would hand that to him and I would just be there comforting my patient, making sure she's okay. Okay, so now that this has been inserted into my patient, the amniotic membrane has been ruptured. I'm gonna make sure I am assessing the fluid and the drainage that's coming out, looking at the color of it. It's very, very important to note whether the um, color of the fluid that's coming out is greenish or brownish, because that's a sign that the, the, the baby has had a um, bowel movement. And a bowel movement in the baby is a sign of distress. So we would note that um, I do not see that the color of the fluid is green or brown, so I know that's good, okay? So once that's done, I can just go ahead and clean her up, making sure I perform some peri care. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna also be assessing her um, perineum. Um, my baby's and my baby's heart rate's gonna be being monitored as well as the patient's on the monitor and on the fetal heart. Um, we're gonna be monitoring the fetal heart rate. Um, and we're just gonna keep monitoring her vital signs, making sure the baby's vital signs are up to par as well. So we're gonna be very mindful of that and we be fit, we be very mindful of um, their temperatures both because most time with an infection um, uh, fever is a usual sign or symptom of it so we would go ahead and um, take the, pa the patient's temperature as well as get a temperature for the baby because with this procedure sometimes it can cause bacteria to get to the baby causing an infection and that we don't want so we're going to be mindful of um, the fluid that we drain and the patient's vital signs that we would be checking about every 15 minutes or so. Um, and that's it with my amniotic assistance.